Welcome to Brent Jesse Recording and Supply and this is another video. This time we're going to be doing noise testing on six SN7 tubes with a new noise test fixture that we have here at audiotubes.com. Uh, this was built by engineer Daniel Shu and it basically features a class A amplifier inside of this box with inputs to drive the plate supply, the heater direct current, or uh, alternating current to the heater. In the case of checking for noise, it's self-induced noise of the tube, we're going to be giving the heater 6.3 volts direct current and we're running the tube at the manufacturer's nominal recommendation of 150 volts on the plate. With this device we can switch back and forth and uh, between triode 1 and 2 and actually listen to the noise and we have the heater set on direct current and the tube is operational right now. And then out the back of the unit is an audio output and what we're doing is we are feeding it over to this uh, small vacuum tube stereo over here in our shop which we have selected some of the lowest noise tubes possible to do our testing with. So what we do is basically operate the tube at normal volume and no, uh, sorry normal levels and once it's stabilized we turn up the volume and basically just tap the tube and as you can see, this one has got a serious problem. It's howling on triode 2. Triode 1 is quiet, but there is a background hum. And as you can hear, this tube is very microphonic. So this tube obviously would not pass the test, so we turn the volume down. We're going to replace it. I've got a few other examples of fairly noisy tubes here. I'm going to replace that tube. and once this one has warmed up and stabilized we'll go ahead and turn the volume up this is triode number one all we do is tap the tube very gently as you can hear this one is extremely noisy it would be unacceptable in hi-fi use triode two is a little better but not much so that one is definitely a reject a couple of other strange noises that we can get with tubes. We'll let that one warm up just a moment. Okay, that's enough. We'll turn the volume up. Triode 1 isn't too bad, although there is a faint hum. Triode 2 is a little bit noisy. This tube isn't too bad, however, sometimes wiggling them in the socket can provide some noise and that one actually is that one's ringing just a little bit so far that's the best of the bunch uh, here's another another one that is RCA made for Hammond organ we'll let that one warm up uh, this uh, noise tester, like I said, it has a Class A amplifier. We're not running the tube at anything outrageous. We're just running it at 6.3 volts, heater voltage, 150 volts on each triode. And basically, we just switch back and forth. We do have a socket here for 12AX7, 12AT7, 6922, and those kind of tubes also that can be tested. We'll do another video with those tubes in the future. That's warmed up. We'll turn it up. We're starting with triode 2. Okay, this one is it's ringing almost like a bell. This one is quite microphonic. That triode is a little better, but it's still noisy. This would definitely be unacceptable in any kind of a hi-fi situation. And I think this one had some interesting noises to give us as well. We'll give that a moment to warm up. Not surprisingly in our testing, we found that the, no, the lowest noise tubes were the 5692s in the variety of the 6SN7, both the red base uh, and the brown base, this one being an RCA red base and the brown base being a Jan CBS made by Hytron. Those tubes consistently seem to be the lowest noise of most of, uh, of this type. Although, careful selection, you can find a low noise type of just about any brand. Okay, we'll turn this one up. That triode's pretty quiet. That triode is noisy. Very clearly making a rapping sound through the, through the speakers. Kind of a rapping buzzing sound. 
definitely not a good tube. And we'll go to our 5692 red base. <clears throat> Most of the tests basically are done at normal listening volume. Um, if it turns out you can hear something through normal listening volume, then we go all the way up to full loudness on the, uh, on the volume selector and uh, you, you can find out what kind of issues you've got, microphonics, noise, what have you. Okay, this one's very quiet. Just the very slightest of noise through triode number two. So that one would definitely be an acceptable tube. And we'll plug the brown base in real quick. This is something new that we're offering, this type of noise testing where we're driving the tubes to probably the, uh, their uh, ultimate gain state where the, you're squeezing every last decibel of gain out of the tube and then listening for any kind of self noise or any kind of microphonics. Uh, this is something surprisingly, I should mention, uh, surprisingly every one of these tubes tested good on our Hickok tube tester, by the way. Okay, this one is also very quiet. But these tubes didn't test any better than some of these, uh, including one that was screened for organs. Some of these that were extremely loud. This one rang like a bell when we tapped it. And they, like I said, they all tested good on the tube tester. But the tube tester doesn't really give you this kind of indication of noise testing, which is something that we can offer uh, for uh, any kind of tubes that you purchase from us. So give us a call, 847-496-4546, and we'll tell you more about the various types of testing and the quality control we do here at audiotubes.com. Thank you.